two of Christ's disciples were walking to Emmaus, away from Jerusalem, where the other disciples and even apostles were in hiding. It was what we call Resurrection Day. They had heard the reports before they left Jerusalem that Mary and Martha had been to the grave, but had found it empty. But they did not know that the resurrected Lord was about to appear and speak to them. Suddenly a third person joined them on the road to Emmaus. And as they began to talk and share and argue with each other, the third person heard them. He saw their despondency. They were running basically in fear from Jerusalem, from those who were out to get the disciples, the followers of Jesus Christ. There had been threats, the government authorities, the religious authorities, and even the people who had yelled and screamed for Barabbas to be released and Christ to be executed were pursuing and hunting down Christ's disciples. Welcome to the Renaissance gathering on this glorious Easter Sunday, the day we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As they were speaking, Jesus began to share with them. They were not fully aware at all that this was Jesus that was talking to them. And he began to share from Moses through the prophets and the Psalms, all the promises that had been fulfilled and must be fulfilled in reference to the Messiah as they spoke as they spoke together and listened to christ they began to be encouraged they began to have their hearts strengthened still not knowing that it was jesus himself the resurrected lord who was speaking with them as they walked on that road when they finally got to emmaus they looked at their fellow traveler and asked him to join them for something to eat as they got home. When they walked into their home and had been sharing and eating, he took bread and he broke it. And it was when Christ broke bread with those two despondent disciples that suddenly they realized that they had been speaking with and sharing with their risen Lord and Savior. Immediately, Jesus vanished, and those two disciples went running back to Jerusalem at night on that seven-mile road to share with the disciples and apostles and all those who were gathered in one hiding place together to share with them that they had seen and encountered and spoken with and heard from the risen Lord and that he had shared and opened the word of God to them. Today, it is time for us to recognize that we have a relationship with the risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is the one who is the author of life. He is the creator of life and he is the lord god almighty that was promised from the beginning of the old testament into the new testament and fulfilled all those promises we worship you today O lord with thanksgiving and celebration on our road in this life in the name of the father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.